Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail and title of the video, we're gonna review, or more like a tutorial on how to use and explain everything about the Zoya Naked Manicure Jelly Cure Kit. Um, there are a couple of these kits, so this is just one of them. And I'm, I don't remember, I don't think I got this as PR. I think I got this free from one of the Zoya sales. You know how sometimes they do sales and if you buy X amount of money, you get a free kit. This was one of them, but I have gotten some products from them similar to these, including their lamp, which, which I have right here a long time ago as PR. So anyways, let's just see what's in the kit and we'll get into it. Now, the very first thing you get in the kit is a lot of instructions. They don't even fit here on my screen, but just know that every single detail is in these kits so there's no question they even have a section that's dedicated to troubleshooting for example um where are you troubleshooting it's somewhere in here where it says you know if certain things are happening this is what it could be so it helps you it explains every single type of manicure you can do with this kit it also explains removal it's really really comprehensive and really really great so just know that you will get this with the kit so don't be scared <laughs> All right, there's some cotton balls here. That's probably for removal. There is a mini lamp in here. You don't need the big lamp or pro lamp that I have here, the Zoya Pro. You don't need that one. You can just use the travel LED light or any other light that you have, but this kit does come with a little light. There you go, it has a little legs. You open it up and that's your lamp. Okay, there is a cuticle pusher and a... Um, file and I really like this file. I, I have one of these in my office because I don't want to have my glass one. My, my glass file is down in my nail room and I have one in my actual work office. This is, feels really nice. The grit is, is very fine and nice for the natural nail and it does have refined buff and another little thing over here. But this one's 600 grit and this one's even finer. So this is very much for the natural nail. All right, the next thing you get is a pack of 100 little pre-cut foils for soaking off the jelly cure. Then you get the actual jelly cure product and the repair base and serum. We'll go over these products up next. And then the other thing you do get, this is at the bottom of the, of the box, you get a clear shine, which is to remove the sticky layer. Um, if you run out of these, I think you can replace it with alcohol. Then there's a remove plus, which is remover and lint-free nail wipes. All right, so here's everything that comes in the kit. I just hit my microphone. Um, now let's get talking about these products. So before I get to talking about this, I wanna let you guys, you know, let it sink in what these products are advertised as and what they're meant to be, right? So it is a three-step process, okay? That includes a serum that you put directly on your natural nail supposed to heal, right? Supposed to be a system for damaged nails that incorporates a demi-gel layer to lock in treatment and protect the nails. So the serum is supposed to heal and then you have the repair base that goes on top of the serum to lock everything in place, right? And then you have the jelly cure system, which is, is a hybrid gel. It's a little bit softer than regular gel that we're used to seeing but better than a base coat or a top coat. And it serves as both a gel overlay or a top coat. Right now I'm wearing it as a top coat on top of regular polish. I'll explain later all the steps and all that. But yeah, so basically I want you guys to think about this as a two-step thing. So you can use these two by themselves. You can use this by itself or you can combine all three. So you can use the serum, the repair um, and cure whenever you need it and put actual regular nail polish on top and it's fine. Or you can go ahead and skip this too and put the jelly cure directly in your nail and that's also fine. Or like I said, you can combine the three. So they are kind of like plug and play, right? Um, at any point in time, you can decide what you want to do, what you need, and what you want to add or skip or whatever, and they're fine, okay? And also, you can use these two with any nail polish, right? It doesn't have to be just Zoya. And you can use this jelly cure on top of also any nail polish. It doesn't have to be just Zoya. 
and it works okay so just getting that out of the way because i know that's going to be a common question you know is this meant to be just you know no you can use these two and then this one or together all right so i'm going to go ahead and prep the nail how they suggest that you prep and you know you can you guys can prep however you want right but they suggest that you just basically push everything back my nails you know i don't have i've already done my routine today so i'm already prepped but you could do your prep however you normally do it and then you just basically push your cuticles back because if you end up wanting to apply the jelly cure system at the end of the day it is a gel like hybrid type of thing so you don't want to get that on your skin right to avoid lifting and all of that so you push your cuticles back they recommend you know in this step you file boom boom, boom. i'm not gonna do it because i already did it but you guys can if you want to i love this file i love it and then my nails are prepped now right i'm done with the prep and you can do it however you want and then you can go into the next step so oh, sorry say you want to apply the serum and repair base you can skip this just think of this step as an optional step if you feel like you need it right you will go ahead and grab this serum you can read more on their website about everything that this serum is supposed to do for you but as you can tell i don't really have damage or anything so i haven't tested if this would actually make a difference but you know you want to grab a very tiny and i mean like tiny amount of serum it says that on the paper in the paper the instructions very little right and then you're just gonna do this you don't want to wet it too much right because wet nails and gel like things don't go well together and then they say that you want to rub it in rub it dry you're basically going to rub it into your nail let it dry a little bit so right and then after that's in place you don't want to see your nail soaked right that's not going to be good so that's in place you want to go ahead and apply the repair base this is going to lock in the serum in place okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do that don't put too much either just normal thin thin layers right da, 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 da. so like i said if you want to skip this step you can this step think of it i'm talking about this step like oh crap i told you guys i'm so clumsy this step of both of these together you can skip it if you want if you don't feel like you need the repair kind of assistance but you know i'm showing you guys just so you see everything right beginning to end so think of this like a treatment okay which is a treatment this base coat it's not a base coat okay it's a repair base it doesn't work just like a base coat it has other things in it and it doesn't even dry with the same feeling the normal base coat have you guys will see in a moment here when it dries but anyway so now we're done with the serum and repair base which is the repairing step of the jelly cure system and like i said remember you can um apply polish on top of this this is your base base coat base prep it's done you can apply regular nail polish, regular top coat, and you're done without any sort of curing or, sorry, my, my battery is running out, without any sort of jelly cure. You don't have to, right? You can just treat this as a base coat and just go on about your day. Now, if you do want to go ahead, you can go into step two and do multiple things, which I will cover up next. All right, so you can do multiple things with this, right? You can, without having done the serum base repair thing that I just did, just on your naked prepped nail, you can treat this as a gel overlay to protect your natural nail, okay? Or you can use it as a gel overlay on top of the serum base and repair. Either naked or with serum base and repair, you can use this as a gel overlay, okay? The second thing you can do is use this as a top coat. So... You can apply polish as you normally would, okay? And then use this as a top coat. Or you can use it as both, which they call sandwich, right? So it doesn't matter. Like I said, think of it like plug and play. At any point in time, you can use the base and repair if you want. 
this as a base if you want, this as a top if you as a top top coat if you want, or you can just use a serum repair and use regular nail polish without without jelly cure. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the sandwich technique, which is the longer. It includes all the steps, right? Because at any point in time, like I said, plug and play. You can choose to skip whatever you don't need. Let's say you don't want the gel overlay, you just want it as a top coat. That's fine. Or you just want the gel overlay. That's fine too. And I think I'm just repeating the same thing over and over, but I found the system a little bit confusing. So I think I'm just trying to repeat it to make it like more familiar for you guys, but we can always address questions if, you, if anything sounds confusing. And like I said, the documentation that they send you guys is really, really good and comprehensive. So let's just go ahead and do the gel overlay step. All right, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and you're just going to apply. Think of this as gel, okay? You want to apply thin layers that don't touch your skin, right? And you also don't want to do too much. Another thing that you don't want to do too much of is the serum under it. If you end up doing the serum and you put too much, that can cause problems with the jelly cure. It can make a bubble, it can make a lift. There's a bunch of steps in their troubleshooting that explain to you, you know, if anything is happening, why it might be happening. And then you can adjust, you know, and learn as you go. It might be a new system for you, right? Which is fine. We learn as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll be right back. Now, if you guys notice, the brush is really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this for a minute in the Zoya Pro lamp, but you can use any lamp you want. All right, now I have taken my nails out of the lamp and they are cured, but there is a sticky layer, the inhibition layer. We have to remove this. You can do it with alcohol or you can do it with the clear shine, which comes in the kit and one of the lymph-free wipes that come in the kit as well. You can just do a quick little spray on the thin free cotton pad thingy should i need probably more and just remove the sticky layer okay now your nails are no longer going to be sticky and you can see right they're not sticking you can leave it like this if you wanted to for a beautiful natural look or you can do what we're going to do, which is apply nail polish. This looks actually really, really, really nice, you guys. Oh my God, I'm trying to look at it through the camera. And my video is looking a little bit yellow. But anyways, the shine is gorgeous. It's so clean. Also, you know, make sure that you clean your skin and everything before you put it in the lamp. Because this is like a gel. So once you cure it, you're done, right? But removal is not like gel. Removal is actually a two minute, two minute little soak with remover, one of these pads and the foils that they're providing the kid, which of course we're gonna do here. But it's very, very, feels very light. It feels very nice, very easy to apply. The brush is super gorgeous. Um, wide paddle brush, feels very smooth, very nice. One thing I forgot to mention. Uh, one of the things that they talk about with this as a base, as how I have it right now, is that you can apply regular nail polish and regular top coat, you know, not, not the sandwich, and change your polish. And this stays in place and you can change your polish, your polish up to two times. I wasn't able to do it twice. I was able to do it up to one time. But now I want you to keep in mind that that might depend on what type of polish you use. Is it dark? Is it light? Is, do I have to scrub a lot? Because, you know, if you're scrubbing on top of this demi gel a lot, you're going to see patches, might start lifting because it's not like an actual gel that's very hard to remove. So if you change your polish too strongly or it needs more rubbing or you spend too long, it might not last the two polish changes. Just keep that in mind, but you should be able to do it at least one time. So also uh, one thing I just noticed, this um, clear shine that they recommend you use to remove inhibition layer from the jelly, you know, like to clean the gel. It feels like greasy, not in a nasty way, but it's too much, too much moisture for my liking. If you're going to put polish on top, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this. If I'm gonna put polish on top, I will clean it with alcohol. 
<clears throat> sorry, because I feel like this moisture is not good. It's going to cause trouble with my nail polish. I would use it at the very end once we're completely done because it, it does feel nice and moisturizing. But keep that in mind. I mean, you can use it for both. And if you see any issues in your nail polish application, just clean, clean it, clean the base with alcohol instead. Okay, so to do a sandwich, which is I'm going to put polish on top of the gel overlay and then I'm going to furthermore top coat it with the jelly cure. This is what they say to do. They say apply the first layer of polish, wait two minutes. Apply the second layer of polish, wait 10 minutes, then apply the jelly cure, wait two minutes, and then cure. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna type it somewhere here on the screen so you guys know what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna make you wait through that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Code one, wait two minutes. Code two, wait 10 minutes. Jelly cure, wait two minutes and cure. All right, so as you guys know, like I mentioned, the instructions say to wait two minutes before you cure. So I have put the jelly on my nails and it's wet. So you don't want to touch anything. You don't want anything to get on your nails. No dust, no hair, nothing. So just don't move and sit there for the two minutes of the timer. Once the timer, you know, finishes, then we'll cure it for a minute. Now, in that minute that you're waiting, you may see something like this happen where it runs to the side you want to clean it and i think the best thing to do after you apply the gel instead of laying flat like this what i would do is lay like this upside down that way the gel does not run all the way into your cuticles because once you cure this it's gonna cure in place and we don't want that right so Anyways, just keep that in mind. That's a quick little trick for gel. Put your hands upside down for those two minutes. So now my timer has just, um, you know, finished. Um, and then I'm going to cure for a minute. Where's my lamp? Here's my lamp. Okay. Uh, there you go. Now, it can happen as it just happened to me right now as I'm curing. You might feel it a little bit hot. That's normal um, and common with a bunch of different gel products. There's nothing new to this one. You can just quickly go like one second and back in. Just to give your nails a quick little break and back in. Nothing happens. Just so it doesn't burn you. Once it cures, the burning will stop. So just keep that in mind. If you do get a little heat, heat spike, just take your hand out real quick and back in. All right, so the curing is done. As you guys know, this is sticky. So we need to use the shine that comes in the kit or alcohol. Just give it a little quick spray and then grab your lint-free wipe. You can spray the wipe as well or not really because you already wet your nails, but basically just remove that sticky layer. And we're good to go, you guys. There you go, there's Harper in all its glory. Now remember when you apply the polish, you don't wanna to touch your skin, right? And if you do, clean it up before it dries because that's one of the main reasons why things lift, right? It gets attached to the skin, to the cuticle everywhere, and then it lifts and we don't want that. So you basically wanna just paint as close as you can, but without touching. Because otherwise, you know, once you put the gel, everything starts pulling on each other and whatever. So anyways, if you wear this mani just like this, right? It should last supposedly for a bit, right? I don't know what it is that they say. I think seven to 10 days. So, you know, I am wearing that here on this hand with a non-Zoya polish. So I'll see if it lasts 
but this is my dominant hand and I swatch and I use remover a lot so it's probably not gonna last but that's not a fair test you know you guys wouldn't be swatching or using remover all the time so for that I would need gel and even gel sometimes gets a beating from my regular usage right so right now what I want to go ahead and do is removal and I do want you to keep in mind that the the regular nail polish that I have under the jelly cure has only been sitting here for 10 minutes so remover, removal will probably be a tiny bit a couple more minutes if you wear it longer because this is gonna remove rather easily now for one layer of jelly cure you're supposed to soak off for two minutes that's if you only do the base or if you only do the top when you do the sandwich technique they say um, it's gonna be four minutes which makes sense you know you need to eat it through the first one and then through the second one what you can do if you want is do two minutes remove that and the polish and then do the next two minutes for the bottom layer or you can do four minutes for the whole thing i'm gonna go ahead and do four minutes you know on the whole thing and then we'll see what happens all right i'm gonna remove with everything they gave us but you guys should be able to use any cotton that you have any foil from your kitchen or even with this clips it works nice i tried it and you should be able to use the remove plus that comes in the kit or any remover that you have, acetone is going to eat through this even faster. But I want to use what came in the kit just, I don't know, just to see how it goes, right? Um, in their instructions, it doesn't say anything about buffing away the shine from the jelly cure. So it shouldn't be required. But we know from gel removal that if you buff a little bit of the shine, things soak off so much easier so you guys can definitely use that that tip here grab the file that comes with it if you buff it doesn't do anything because it's just to shine stuff it doesn't have any grit but if you use the actual file and you foil foil what? and you file off a little bit of the shine this is going to make your removal so much easier now of course it's not meant to do this but if you happen to have a buffing block handy grab it and just buff real quick the shine off of the top coat buff off the shine and let's wrap so as usual just take out your five little foils oh my god they're separated by a little paper that is so cute look paper foil paper foil Zoya is so fancy with their wrapping, you guys. They're like the apple of nail polish stuff. When it comes to their wrapping, everything's like perfectly packaged and perfectly this and perfectly that. Anyways, another thing, if you want to remove and use acetone or something stronger, that's going to ease, you know, make everything even easier. But, you know, let's try with the remove, which is brand new. I haven't even played with this kit at all. I'm playing with it as I'm filming. <laughs> so saturate the cotton ball right put it on the finger and wrap it i don't know if you're supposed to wrap the mat or the foily part i'm gonna do the mat oh what am i doing oh, i am so messy bro you know what i'm gonna clip them all right our four minutes are up and i'm going to get rid of the clips real quick so that i can see what's going on and they say that you um just have to press down and and slide it out but if you have thicker layers which i would assume is the sandwich method like this to remove the foil and wiggle the cotton out so we're gonna first try this and see what happens oh noise okay I want to open well actually let me remove them all because i can't do anything with this this is very nice you guys Ooh, it, sorry this is not sliding but there you go i'm pressing down into a nail and just sliding it out so this is pretty good now they say you don't have to scrape or anything but with this wooden little stick i'm gonna just see what happens and it just flakes right off. Look, look I'm, I'm doing like no pressure whatsoever. I am just, I think, this is something very interesting because I think, you know when we put the jelly gear on top of the polish and waited two minutes? 
I think that allows the jelly to kind of like fuse into the nail polish. It's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. So anyways, as you guys can see, I have to do some more cleanup. So all I'm going to do is grab some more free wipes or any, you know, cotton of any kind that you want. And just clean it up, you know. Um, there's nothing left on my nail. Can you look? There's nothing left. The four minutes took both layers of jelly cure and the two layers of polish. No problem. Let me clean up a little bit. Also, I wanted to open one of these to see how it looks like on the inside. What do you look like on the inside? Let's see. So, you can see that it just took everything with it. And you can also see that the nail polish is kind of like gel-like. Like it fused the jelly cure, it fused the polish in the middle, like sandwich method, like what they're saying. You just took the whole polish with it in a one layer. Pretty cool. And it looks super light because even though I did two coats and two gels, it's like nothing, no product here. It's very light. All right, guys. So final thoughts i think it's good I, I like how the products feel on the nail everything feels super light um very easy to apply i didn't really have any issues now i think i did mention this earlier in the video that when you use the jelly cure as a base coat like as a gel overlay um i don't know that you will be able to change your polish twice as they say but it might depend on what kind of polish it is and how much you have to scrub to remove it because that will affect, you know, the jelly base. As you as you saw, it removes pretty easily. So keep that in mind. But you should be able to change it at least one time. Um, and then as a top coat, I think it's a very good option. Yes, you can also do this with regular gel top coat, but the removal will be a little bit different. Um, this does have a very easy removal. And it does have the same amount of shine as regular gel. So it's a very interesting um, hybrid. I don't really know, you know, um, how, how, how it's different. It's patented, right? They have a patent on it. Um, and it is what it is. But it does work. It does feel very nice. And I think it will be a great solution for people that want kind of like an in-between. You don't want to commit to, you know, putting a gel top coat or gel polish and you want to extend the life of your regular lacquer manicure, you can definitely give this a try. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the price point is because like I said, I got this kit for free when I bought some other Zoya stuff. But I will check on their website. But, you know, when they do their sales and things like that, that's a great time to try these kits because you get to try without too much investment. I think the smaller kit, which is the one I showed you guys in the box, has a full-size jelly cure, but it has half of these two. And then there is a Travel Pro that has this three. And then there's another Pro that has this three and comes with the actual lamp. So I think I have a mix of a bunch of products, but in the end, it's the same. This is the base, the basis, base base of it basis the basic i don't know the basic products that you care about whether different size or different lamp it doesn't matter um this is where the where the magic is right so that's it for my review of the jelly cure system let me know if you guys have any questions i know this was a couple steps it's a little bit more complicated than just showing you guys a regular nail polish collection but you guys have been asking me for this for a very long time and i think i've owed you this video for over a year so Thank you guys so much for catching my review and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.